Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. It's another, another brand new episode. Woo! Guitar of the day. Yeah. Uh, Guild Starfire 5 from yesterday. See ya! <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> that didn't last long. I sold that last night when I got home. Uh, yeah. Good stuff doesn't stick around, guys. Uh, also, we're going to be going live uh, on Patreon, 6 o'clock, 6, 6.30. Anybody uh, whose patrons want to stop by, ask us some questions, hang for a little bit. We'll be uh, staying after hours uh, to talk to you guys today. Also, uh, considering it is Thumpin' Thursday, I just want to give a plug really quick. I don't think it's out yet, but it's coming soon. I'd probably hear shortly if, it didn't, if it's not out yet. But Getty Lee has just released an incredible book. It's called The Big Beautiful Book of Bass. And it's his personal collection of, uh, of bases. Ooh. Stupid. Just stupid. I sold him a few things in there. He's got some good stuff from us over the years. And, uh, yeah, they're in the book. Uh, very, very cool. But, yeah, unfortunately, it is Thumping Thursday. Fortunately, I got something sick. I don't think we've ever done one of these. Ooh. Intrigued? Very. You should be. Come on back. Uh-oh. Tweed case. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh, I love that sound. Yeah, from 1956, original Fender Precision Bass, contour body, two color sunburst, white guard, just as clean as you could possibly freaking imagine. It's nice. Oh yeah, that's the Sting bass too, if you're Sting? wondering. Sting? Now it looks a little different than Sting's because Sting doesn't have the pit guard on his and the majority of the finish is no longer there either, but uh, that's the bass. First off, let's talk about the case. You know how ridiculously rare an original Tweed bass hard shell case is? It's pretty rare. Remember when we did that Billy Gibbons um, broadcaster earlier this year? It had that leather, leatherette kind of gig bag with it. A lot of the original basses came in those. Um, so it's really cool when you see original Tweed, especially when you see it in that condition where you, you hit the latch and it, the spring still fling it open. It's pretty sick. Um, we bought this earlier this week as part, uh, it was one guy's whole kit. Uh, it was actually his grand grandfather's stuff, but um, he played with uh, country singer Tex Ritter. It was actually John Ritter and Christian Ritter's grandfather. Oh, yeah, Tex Ritter, he was a big singing cowboy star. He was his guitar player, but he also moonlined on bass. So this is a 56P bass. Also got a 56 Strat from him that we'll be taking a look at on Stratterday. Ooh. We also got a 56 Tweed Baseman. And they all look like this. The tweet on all the cases looks like this. The finish, I, you know, it's not mint. Yeah, he played it. It's got a couple of, you know, some belt buckle rash and stuff like that. But guys, that's clean. Look at the neck. Look at the decal. Look how fresh and clean all of that is. Ugh. By the way, weight on this is ridiculous. It's one of the lightest precision bases I've ever found. So this is, um, this is the one we haven't done. This is version two. So version one looks kind of just like this, but it's that kind of butterscotch blonde with a black guard, just like a 52 Tele. It's also a slab body. This is the first uh, when we start to see the contoured back like you'd see on a Stratocaster, the belly cut. And that's also right around the time they switched to the two color sunburst finish on Ash body with the white guard like they were doing on the Telecasters as well and, and the Strats. Just a single volume and tone. It's just this one pickup under here. This is before we get to generation three P bass, which is, has the split. That's when we first see the split coil P bass pickup. So this is still the last. Now we did that Tele bass uh, a few weeks back. Yes, this is not a Tele bass. This is a precision bass. It does have the Tele style body. You will not see this bass actually referred to as a Telecaster bass until they start doing reissues of it 1968. You'll see them look like this with the single coil. Once you get into 72, it starts to do like the one we'd had with that big uh, wide range humbucking pickup. Oh man, what a set, huh? Look at that. Wait till you see the Strat on Saturday. Let's go to the couch. Let's thump on it. Maybe hit it with a pick too. Something Thursday. It's the Sting bass. Let's go plug it in. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Never seen it excited before. All right, we're out front. We have the 1956 Fender Precision Bass. Original two color sunburst finish on Ash. White guard. We're going through a Fender Rumble 200 today. All EQs at nude. Everything is reverberating. Uh, let's start uh, with our fingers. Get thumpy thumps on this thing. See what it can do here.
Cool, let's pick up a flat pick. Let's dig in a little bit harder, see how it does some real thumping here. Version 2 from 1956, second generation precision base. This one's got the contoured body with the belly cut on the back. Original two color sunburst finish on ash, white guard, maple neck. Original tweed hard shell case. There's your thumping Thursday. Check out the store on Instagram at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. Check out the base online at normansrareguitars.com. And of course, come back tomorrow to join us again for another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. We're going live on Patreon at 6 o'clock. If you guys want to come hang, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Peace. Bye.